Well, we are here with Mark Travers. Now, it's been a brilliant season for the Ireland International. We're going to look through some of his top saves. Now, Travs, I know you're very humble and I know you're not going to want to big yourself up too much, but we're going to go through them. You're going to talk us through them and it's going to be uh, exciting to look back over yeah. the season so far. So if you want to hit play on there, yeah. then uh, we'll start with QPR at home earlier in the season. Obviously, talk us through it from, from your point of view. Yeah, as you say earlier, early game in the season, it was... Um, you know, a really, really big game you felt against, well, now it looks like two, obviously, people trying to get promoted. So, looking back, it was an important game. Um, yeah, I remember the save, it was, it was late on in the game. Um, I think the pressure come the last 10, 15 minutes. So, yeah, it was nice to, to make some saves and definitely made the, the most of the second save. <laughs> With that one, it was obviously a double save, as you say. How important is it to, you know, stay on the ball and, and stay on it, stay focused so late on in the game? Yeah, definitely. I think... Um, that's, that's part of being a goalkeeper. You have to sort of stay focused and, and be ready for your moments when they come. Because um, there's been a lot of tight games this year, so a lot of the pressure has come late on. So, yeah, just try to stay focused and always expect the unexpected, definitely. Absolutely. If you want to hit play, I think we've got another one from this game coming up. So as the ball's over on that right-hand side, it's coming across. What's going through your head? Are you expecting yeah. them to take that shot as early as they did there? Uh, not really, to be fair. I think Lloyd just got a touch on it, but... Um, yeah, with the work we do in training, we always sort of try and give ourselves depth in the goal and um, give ourselves as much reaction time as possible. So I think um, just leading into that, getting into the right position gives you that chance to sort of um, make a save if you're needed, definitely. Talking of sort of training and reaction times, obviously you don't know what's going to face you in the game. You don't know what reactions you're going to need to make. How can you prepare yourself for that match situation? Yeah, definitely. It's always tough to because in a game you only get that one chance where in training you probably have a lot more shots to deal with but that's why the standard of coaching we have with um, Birchie and guys really helps us you know to to sort of train those moments within the session and um, so it's really important the work we do on the training pitch day in day out people probably don't recognize the amount of stuff we do to for when their moments come we can be as prepared as possible. Now Fulham away, a huge game. It's one that supporters will have, you know, had an eye on from the start of the season. It was a, a big game. Just to sort of have a look at this clip and, you know, talk us through this save. It was point blank range. Yeah, you know, it was, you, can, you felt the atmosphere in this game it was a really massive game for, um, for both teams, really. Um, and I think with <coughs> this one here, it's, it's one of them. You sort of have to stay front foot. Um, his touch sort of allowed me to gain a few yards. Um, and I was able to just close them down and get, get close to the ball and you know, make myself as, as big as possible. Um, and lucky, yeah, came, came off my leg. Now this one, the ball comes across. It's Harry Wilson, we know him very well. Yeah. That's a save, you know, with your bit, big right hand there. It obviously falls quite kindly to Fulham, but they missed that one. Just talk us through it, the ball comes across. Yeah, it's definitely. a header down, you know, how are you preparing for that moment? Yeah, definitely, as you, as you said, we know the, the quality, obviously Wilson has been here and obviously Mitrovic is such a, aerial threat so um, yeah similar to the first one just try to once you know you can't come for the cross you try and drop off and give yourself as much uh, depth as possible and time to react so yeah lucky I was able to get set and um, keep out Mitrovic who's been in unbelievable form this year so that was always um, a nice moment to, to look back on definitely. It was a, a powerful header it must have needed a, a strong right hand to you know palm it away from goal as you did there. Yeah definitely I think probably the week leading up to that as well we we would have done a lot of work on the training pitch trying to prepare ourselves for you know I think they had the most crosses in the league at that time so we had to sort of you know keep keep working on that and prepare for that come come that game day definitely. Now another big game Blackburn at home it didn't quite go the way we would have liked but yeah. this save one-on-one -on -one with Ben Burton <coughs> Diaz you know one-on-ones the strikers always favour but you managed to get down and and save that one. Yeah as you say it was, it was a, dis a disappointing result on the, on the day but um, yeah these ones are always difficult because you know he's he's in on goal and you have a lot of time to, to think about it um, but yeah I just tried to drop off give myself time um, and once he took that uh, big touch just sort of gave myself a chance to to try and get as close to him as possible and, and narrow down the angle. With one-on-ones, is there anything in particular that you do to, to prepare for them? Because as you say, you know, you have a bit more time to think about them generally and they're, you know, racing down on goal and it's just you facing them. What, what goes through your mind in that situation? Yeah, I think you have to be, you know, as relaxed as possible. I think, um, you know, we work on giving ourselves time to react. So we drop off initially unless you can't affect the, the first ball. 
Um, and then depending on the, the striker's um, touch, you react off that. If it's a big touch, maybe you could take a few yards and, and, and get as close as possible. Or if it's quite close to him, you can just stay in the position yeah, and try and make him you know, put it in the, in the side net, definitely. Now, Barnsley away, this was a, another big game. It had come sort of, you know, after a few results that again didn't, didn't go the way we wanted, but we knew how important it was. It was a tough place to go, tough conditions. That, that save there, the ball's coming across. He gets there before the defender. Just tell us how it was from your point of view. You must have seen that one quite late. Yeah, yeah, I think, um, I think it was um, this point, the first half was, wasn't, wasn't the best kick, sort of invited the, the press on. They nicked in and got it. So, yeah, I think sort of putting that disappointment behind you nice and quick and just focus on the next next, next action, which I tried to do. Um, yeah, it was just a low cross sort of in behind our back four. And yeah, similar to the previous one, just tried to, to make myself as big as possible and narrow the angle. And yeah, as I say, luckily it, it rebounded off me and was able to make the save. Again, this is a different one. It comes from a free kick. It's in that, at that near post. You must have had a, a good angle of it. The shot comes in and, and what's going through your head, you know, how are you reacting yeah. to that situation, a free kick that, that doesn't quite get cleared at the first opportunity Yeah, there? definitely. I think with the first initial cross, you're trying to be as positive as, as you can and, and try and come and catch it, first of all. Um, and then once you know you can't get near it, as I spoke about before, just trying to get that depth, drop off a few yards to give yourself some time to react. Um, yeah, and lucky it was close enough to me, which I was able to get um, a parry on it as well. So, um, yeah, quite similar to, to most of the saves, just dropping off, give yourself some time to react and, yeah, thankfully I was able to, to make the save. Obviously, when a free kick comes into the box from that distance, you're probably expecting it to come in and someone will try and get ahead on the ball, but that one came in low and it was a, a shot with the foot. Were you expecting that at the time or do you have to just prepare yourself for every possible situation that could happen? Yeah, definitely. I think, as you say, just prepare for sort of any action, I think. Yeah, normally you'd expect it to be into the box, you expect headers and, and second balls, but it's, it's unusual to see, obviously, um, a ball played in and, and to be shot with the foot. So, um, yeah, just trying to expect, expect anything and always be ready for, for what's to come. Now, Birmingham at home, this game was quite recent. I'm sure a lot of supporters will remember it. It was here at Vitality Stadium. Now, this save came 2-1 up and down to 10 men. Now, if that goes in, it could be a completely different game, but the ball comes across, he gets the shot on target, but you're there again, making yourself big. Yeah, I think, um, as you say, it was a, it was, um, a tough game um, uh, last week, but um, yeah, it was a big moment in the game, obviously, down to 10 men and they just scored a goal. So um, I think with this, this save, I just tried to stay as balanced as possible, not trying to gamble or lean one way or the other. So just tried to stand as still as I could and, and get prepared for the shot. Luckily it was um, yeah, just to my right hand side and I was able to get a hand to it. So um, yeah, just trying to, as I say, stay calm and relaxed in that situation and to be as balanced as possible. Um, something that this season I've, we've worked really hard on in the training ground, trying to stay um, up as long as you can and not gambling or dropping to one side too early. So um, trying to put the pressure back on the striker. And when you're at full stretch like that and you get your fingertips to it, you must get such a buzz afterwards, especially when you can hear the crowd going and the roar from the crowd. Yeah, definitely. I'd say it's, it's similar to, well, as close as we can get to scoring a goal. So, um, yeah, it is great to, to obviously make saves and, um, and contribute to, to, winning, to winning the game. And you do get a great buzz from that, from the fans as well. So it's always nice to experience that as well. Now, Blackpool away. I just want to start by talking about the conditions here because for a goalkeeper that must have been absolutely horrible to play and it must have been an absolute nightmare. Yeah, I think um, I sort of loved it in a way because <laughs> it brings you back to playing as a kid when you used to be filthy, full of muck, diving everywhere. So <coughs> um, as you say, it was pouring down with rain. I think everyone was full of muck, but <laughs> I don't think Duncan the kit man would be too happy with us. But um, yeah, as you say, it's just one of, them, one of them things you have to stay concentrated on and you know, if you have to punch it or catch, you have to make good decisions in those conditions. So, um, yeah, with that save as well, similar to what we spoke about, just trying to stay as still as possible and not lean to any side and and be as reactive as I as I can be. And um, yeah, lucky I was able to to get two hands to it and push it away. For that one there, obviously it's been played back. He's almost got a free shot at goal. He's not very far out. What, what's going through your head? You know, you know you're going to have to make some kind of save. It's probably going to go on target. Again, how are you preparing? What's going through your head in that split second? Yeah, of course. I think, um, as you say, it comes back to sort of constant concentration and just sort of maybe, um, you know, believe in yourself in that minute and trying to stay, stay as patient as you can. Um, trying to not, like, 
everything you work on in training, try and just take it into the game um, and sort of trust the work you've put in on the training ground that it will come off on a match day and that's sort of my mindset that I've been putting in is just um, sort of, yeah, trusting what you know and, and trying to deliver on a match day. We'll come on to this one here. I don't even know where to start with it. I think it was a, a fantastic say. Fans were raving about it yeah. on the social media. Just talk us through it from your point of view. You made yourself so big there and it was sort of Schmeichel-esque, shall we say. I've, I've seen a few fans compare it to, to Peter Schmeichel. Just talk us through it. I'm sure a lot of fans will be keen to hear hear your point of view. Thanks. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it's just one of those, see the ball going, going past me and I see... Um, uh, the big striker coming in to, to make contact with, and as you say, just try to probably yeah, take little bits from different goalkeepers as well. As you say, Schmeichel does that that sort of sort of big save a lot. So um, just sort of trying to be as reactive as I can and try to narrow the narrow down the goal as much as I could. And I thought that was the best way to do it. Was just um, step into it and make myself as big as possible. And you know, luckily it came off my right arm so um, I think sometimes you just got to sort of go with what feels natural as well um, and I think that was definitely the scenario where I felt like I could just go at him and make myself as big as possible. Now for that game obviously we won it in the last minute it was absolutely fantastic we saw you run up the other end of the pitch and celebrate with the lads that must have been a lovely moment after your contribution yeah. earlier in the game. Yeah definitely it was a great feeling I think um, sort of being the other, the other end of it this season a few times conceding goals late on so I think it was a great sort of momentum boost for, for the squad and it definitely brings everyone closer together, that um, that feeling of winning late on. Um, yeah, I ended up, I was nearly running over to the fans and I had to change direction over to the to the bench to join in everyone. Uh, so it was just, yeah, it was just a great buzz. It was the first one sort of of the season. We got a last minute winner, so yeah, I felt I had to join in and enjoy the celebration. Now with the Barnsley game and and with that one against Blackpool, obviously, particularly that one, you know, we'd scored a last minute winner, we'd had a couple of debuts, but you still came away with the MSP Capital Man of the Match. Does that, for you, that must be a really nice moment, you know, when you see it's been voted for by the fans and, and they've recognised that, given how much else has gone on during the game? Yeah, definitely. I think, <coughs> as you say, it's, it's great that the fans, you know, voted for me. There could have been a lot of other players that got it, but obviously grateful to the fans for, for picking me and it definitely gives you a lot of confidence. Um, that I take into the to the next few weeks as well. And it's always nice to to get that on top of a great result. And just finally, we've got to ask you, how are you feeling at this point in the season? You know, we're over halfway. The finish line is in sight. We're not there yet. There's still a lot of games to play and a lot of hard work to be done. But how are you feeling? Your confidence must be at a, a good level and the mood in the camp seems very good. Yeah, I think everyone's definitely really confident and positive about the, about the run-in. But I think the manager and all the players, we just... We keep saying to, to focus on each game as it comes, trying not to you know, be looking at everyone else's results, just just focus on what we can do. And if we keep performing like we did at the weekend, showing that togetherness and fighting to the end, I think we can put ourselves in a great position come May. But yeah, just have to keep game by game and, and see where it takes us, definitely. Well, Travs, thank you for sitting down with us. It's been brilliant to look over the season so far and hopefully we'll be able to do this again in the summer with a few more big saves and maybe a medal round our necks. Yeah, definitely. Thank you.